Hi, uh, Nicola. Yeah? Hi, I'm from 24 Heaven Escorts. I'm your date for tonight. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, 24 Heaven Escorts? Your date tonight? Escort? Yeah, um, you are Nicola, right? Yeah, but I didn't... Oh, thank goodness for that. I've got the wrong house for a second there. Is someone there? No, but I really didn't order an escort. Right, okay, um, <clears throat> uh... Sorry, I'm, I'm booked for uh, Nicola Hart, 9pm, um, this address, tonight. So, I, mean, I don't know, I guess maybe a friend ordered me for you? Or... Yeah, maybe, maybe. Sorry, don't get me wrong, but I really don't want any company for tonight, and I'm certainly not in the habit of paying for sex. Uh, right, OK, I mean, well, the sex thing is um, totally optional, and to be honest, a little less common than you might think. Look, if, if you don't mind me saying so, you do look like you could do with a bit of a cheer-up. And I mean, I am already paid for, so you don't need to worry about the money side of things. And uh, I mean, look, if you want to have a hangout or even just a, a quiet drink. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be offensive. No, no, it's, it's all right. I mean, uh, you know, part of the job can involve, um, well, whatever the client wants, really. Um, anyway, look, I, I'm, I'm keeping you from whatever it is you're doing, so. Oh, don't um... worry, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> right, okay. I, I mean, you sure you don't want any company? I mean, I thought it was Christmas come early when you opened the door, to be honest. You paid to say that. No, flattery is entirely optional. Sure, you sure? Totally sure, thank you. Okay, um, well, look, hey, if you change your mind, look, uh, there's my number. And if you call me before I get to the tube, as I say, I'm already paid for uh, and I'm all yours. Otherwise, look, sorry to disturb you. Have a lovely evening and uh, good night. Good night. Okay. Hello? Hi. Change of heart? Something like that. So I can do anything I want with you? Y yeah, well, I mean, technically, uh, the sort of caveat is that my job's to provide company, you know, so if anything else happens, then that's a um, consensual activity between two adults or some shit like that, anyway. But no, no, go on, try me. Can you cook? Uh, not, not very well. But I can make you try, right? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, till tomorrow morning, yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Hey, nice place. Just moved in. No. You like it then? That's a marked improvement on what I'm used to. Which is? You don't want to know. So... Okay. <laughs> There's a fridge over there full of ingredients. Mm -hmm. And you have a recipe book here. Okay. I'll be lying in the sofa. <laughs> sure. Please try not to break anything. Are people often very wary of letting strange men in their houses? Makes you think I'm strange? Uh, well, no, I mean, most people are expecting me, so no. Um, but otherwise, the agency keeps this big list of who's going where, so we can't really get up to anything. Great. So what are we having? We? You mean I'm cooking for two? I can hardly let you starve now, can I? I don't think there's much danger of that, but, um... No, thanks, sir. I could eat a horse. That's, of course, not into French cuisine. 
Who charge extra for racism? Hey, all inclusive service. Come on, what are you making? Um, honestly. Uh, to be honest with you, a bit of a mess. Um, sorry, where'd you keep your towels? Oh my god, that looks bad. Let me help you. Uh, oh. Sorry, I just bought these new knives. They're really sharp. I did it on a potato peeler. Oh god, you really can't cook, can you? Sorry. I had to go for you. Okay, okay, old still. Let me do it. Okay. Oh, if it's any consolation, I've got most of the blood in the uh, towel. So. Oh, gosh, you're worth every penny, aren't you? <laughs> By the way, how much do you cost? Uh, for the whole night? Well, put it this way, your friend, whoever he or she is, either really owes you one or loves you to bits. <laughs> um, I suppose from what you've seen, I'm not really worth it. <laughs> How the entertainment's values there? <laughs> oh, right, so um, back to the grindstone. Forget about it. Let's hit out. Oh, um, it's, it's not included in the price. <laughs> As you said before, I could do with a cheer up. Okay. Okay, uh, before we go, let's establish some rules. Sure, yeah. Your real name? Guess. James. Yeah, yeah, pretty good guess, actually. Come on. No, I'm serious, it's, it's, it's James. I said real name. It's James. Go on, try for the surname. James McAvoy. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Do I sound Scottish? <laughs> James Silva. Why Silva? It's the most common name in the place where I come from. Oh, so I'm common, am I? Your words, not mine. So where is this place that you come from? Guess. Mm. Italy. Portugal. So close. Well, I don't speak any Spanish, I'm afraid. We speak Portuguese in Portugal. Ah. Come on, surname. So come on, guess the surname. Bon fit, by the way. <laughs> and you, yeah, boo. Come on, just tell me. Okay. It's James Newton. Thank you. Okay, James. James Newton. Nice to meet you, by the way. Let's get this straight. This is just a meal between two friends. I don't want you to hold my hands across the table. Of course not. Or to pretend to laugh at my jokes. No, I don't think there's much danger of that. Or to try to chat me up, flatter. Of charming. Yeah, I wouldn't dream of it. See this as just a meal between two good friends. Just a meal between two good friends. And at the end of the night, you go home to your bed, and I go home to my bed. Hey, don't flatter yourself. I'm joking. Don't look at me like that. What do you do for a living? I work in finance. Ah, that explains a nice flat. Who for? Just a bank in Canary Wharf. Nice little Portuguese bank. No, a really big British bank. So watch it. OK. <laughs> Do you enjoy it? Of course not. It's a job. What about you? I'm an escort. Yeah, but besides being an escort, I mean, do you have a real job? Mm, this is a real job. Oh, OK, I'm sorry. Do you have a proper job? No. No, never have, really. So what about money? I mean, surely you weren't always an escort. No, I wasn't. Always an escort. So, what did you do before? Uh, I was a stripper. No, no, I'm only, I'm only kidding. Um, I used to be, once upon a time, I was a cartoonist. Really? Who for? I used to work for this big satirist comic called Brunt Magazine. Um, we went bust. Why? Did you upset someone? <laughs> yep. Pretty much everyone, I think. Um, we weren't exactly PC. We used to have these misprints on the front cover on purpose, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, time to go home. 
I have to work tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Um, you want me to walk you? You can call me a taxi. You're a taxi. Very funny. <laughs> no, um, okay. Uh, do, do you have a cab number? Actually, I don't. Right. I mean, it's a bit late for black cab shit. Sorry. What about your drawing? <laughs> yeah, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm not used to that. Why? People ask me questions about me, you know. Well, maybe people don't care. I said I care. Jeffrey. Okay, let's walk. You sure? Yeah. Okay. For how long? Oh, well, it was about, I don't know, I guess three years ago now. Okay, so you've been doing this for three years now? Yeah, just done, yeah. With how many women have you? Oh, okay, whoa, whoa, hang on, hang on, wait. I do not, right, just spend my entire life going around having sex with women, okay? Let's clear that one up right now. But certainly that is the reason why someone who can ask for it now. Well, yeah, certainly why a lot of guys would book an escort, but, I mean, you know, girls tend to want different things. Like what? Okay, uh, some want company, you know, um, yeah, some just want some attention. So, some genuinely just want to have a cry and a cuddle. Tom's a bit sexist. <laughs> well, it's the reality of it, I'm afraid. I mean, yeah, you know, of course a lot of out calls do end up lasting the whole night. A lot of people do want sex. So basically, you're telling me you have sex for money. That means you're a male prostitute. I'm sorry, I'm sorry <laughs> to put it this way, but that's exactly how it sounds. Well, it's a little more sophisticated than that. Okay, look, all right. Given all the other things I'm asked to do, mm -hmm. yeah, okay, I'm technically a therapist, right? <laughs> no, I'm serious, I'm serious. I, I'm, a, I'm a masseuse, uh, a cleaner. Sometimes a pet, right? Basically, I'm anything apart from a cook. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed that part. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Sure, you had to see that. <laughs> anyway, you never seen how to say. Why are you going to ask me? No, of course I don't say no. Um, if, if I did, I wouldn't have any work, you know? Most of my business comes through recommendation. Right, right. So there's this whole bunch of lonely old ladies, all comparing and sharing escorts. Okay, who says they're old? Come on. Seriously, I, I mean, you know, okay, so they're not all as as young or as, as beautiful as you, but, um, oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, I didn't, yeah, don't, yeah, stop it. No, but seriously, I mean, they're, they're not, they're not all that bad, really. Most of them. Some of them, some of them are okay. All right, one of them was all right. <laughs> one. Anyway. You told me I could yeah. do whatever I wanted with you till the morning. Yeah. So I want to know what was the worst thing that you had to do. Okay, look, I'm I'm not even drunk enough to talk about that, you know. You know what? I was thinking the same. Just wait here. Well, hey, where, where, where are you going? Oi! Just stay there. But... I'll never see you again. <laughs> like when? Do bankers even drink beer? What did you thought? Well, I don't know. I just, I just always assumed that, you know, you guys, you chat enough to pap to wash your hair and, I don't know, carve and to flush your toilets. Of course, and you'd be always drunk and stylish. I don't know. It must be the only way to make your job bearable. Come on. Stop changing subjects. Be a gentleman. Of course. <laughs> Be a lady. Yeah. Tell got me. Got bad hands here. <laughs> What's the worst thing that you had to do? Okay. All right. Wait, give me. Give me a bit. Let me drink this. Now this this massive woman, right? I mean, it was like climbing fucking Everest. Stop it. No, I'm serious. She was a she was a big girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, I, I literally had to stop halfway up, set up a base camp, you know, take some oxygen on board, and carry on to the top, right? <sighs> when I get there. And her husband's just got home. Mm. Yeah. So I had to blag being a taxi driver and leg it before he got paid. <laughs> and, and I didn't get paid. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That really sounds like the worst night of your life. Uh -huh. Oh, except for this one. 
Are you kidding me, right? No, I'm having a really nice time, you know? I mean, normally I have to, um, you know, I have to, I have to be someone else. But tonight it's all, it's all me. You know, it's all real. <laughs> okay, okay, so let's play it real. Okay. I never believed you were actually a cartoonist. No. Are you? Yes. Okay. Prove it. How? What do you want me to do? Draw me? <sighs> okay, you're missing your notebook. Yeah, maybe I ran out of pages. Uh, <laughs> okay, good one. Second chance. Mm -hmm. If you had to draw me, what would you expand? What do you want me to expand? Come on, you're a cartoonist. <laughs> okay, let's go for my story. Yeah, yeah I got a story. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's excited. bad, it's really bad. Well, let me get ready. <laughs> okay, go. My father used to live in, live in Florence. Florence, yeah. Oh, you're good. Oh, yeah. Italy. <laughs> so he would spend summers there. I love that city. It's always full of sun and artists in the streets. It was lovely. And once he took me to this cartoonist to draw me, and I was really nervous because I don't have this big nose. See? Oh, no, no, you <laughs> okay, it. okay, <laughs> let me go on. Anyway, so I was there looking at him, really nervous. And in the end, when I saw the picture, mm. all you could see was this small face and his massive <laughs> nose. <laughs> it was an happy face, though. <laughs> That's what counts. Anyway, what did you expand? Yeah, I wouldn't expand anything. It's not funny. <sighs> Come on, give me a break. You give me a break. <laughs> Just for you to know, you're perfect. Prove it. Come on. You don't have to prove anything. No, you don't. <laughs> okay, look, I, I'm, I'm curious about something. So, why would your friend mm? have booked me for you? Good question, I don't know. I haven't told anyone. Told anyone about what? No, oh, you don't want to know. No, come on, what? Come on, let's not talk about it. No one troubles you. You're bad. Ex-boyfriend? It's for yesterday. Brick? Big brick. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you don't have this kind of trouble. What do you mean? I can't imagine you with a lot of girlfriends. Ah, uh, um, no, not, not very many, no. Lucky you. Not really. Um, yeah, what does it say? It's better to have to have loved and lost than. Come on, oh, no, come on, stop it. I'm, I'm serious. You know? <laughs> Something I really miss. What? To just be left alone after a big relationship? Yeah. All right. Okay. I I, I would rather have all of those problems th than none of them. So why don't you find a girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, um, you make it sound so easy. Uh, I, I did try it once, mm. um, but it became really hard to hide what I did for a living. So why don't you? Why didn't you tell her? I did. And? Okay. Why don't you quit? Not well, stop pouring myself out. You mean? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do anything else. Come on. You're young, you're quite good looking. Ah, oh, so you think I'm good looking? No, I think you're a prick. That's <laughs> what I think. Okay. What about the cartoonist story? I... I never actually enjoyed it. Do you enjoy this? What? Sitting on a wall with you getting pissed at 3am? Yes, it's like being 13 <laughs> again. I mean, generally.
You've just broke one of my rules. No, did I? Mm -hmm. Which one was that? You were supposed to be in your bed. <sighs> Shit, sorry. I was, wasn't I? <laughs> Forgot. Hey, but if I was in my bed right now, then who'd make you breakfast? <laughs> As long as it's better than dinner. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can only scrub cereal now, can I? <laughs>
No. No, I just want to be left alone for a bit. You need to stop calling me. Because what, what you did to me... I'm, yeah, I'm, obviously I'm hurt. I'm absolutely fucking devastated. You can't do that to people. No. No, I just need some time to think about what happened and move on from it. Please, let me just have that time. Jane. Hi, Jane, isn't it? Hi, Jane. Hi, I'm Mark from 25 and Escorts. Hi, Jane and Mark from 25 and Escorts. 